Good day and welcome to your program, The Conversation, coming to you from TV360 here in Lagos, Nigeria. My name is Nelson Ekujumi and I have with me in the studio Comrade Benga Sholoki, a public affairs analyst also, who together will be looking at uh, a wide range of uh, topical national issues uh, this day. Uh, top of the agenda is uh, the commemoration of the Workers' Day, which is May 1, and the announcement by the uh, by the government agency of a 25 to 35 percent uh, wage increase for consolidated uh, salary structure workers. And when that announcement was made yesterday, uh, the Nigerian Labour Congress has started kicking against it. Well, before I go into the meat of the matter, I want to welcome Comrade Gwenga to the program today. Comrade, thank you for coming. Good afternoon. Yeah, thanks. So the, to, the issue at hand is that uh, in commemoration of the uh, International Workers' Day, mm. which is globally celebrated, uh, celebrated worldwide by workers, which is May 1. In Nigeria yesterday, there was much passed by labor unions and its affiliates across the 36 states, including mm. the Federal Capital yeah. Territory Abuja. And uh, there was this news by the Wages and uh, Fiscal uh, Commission uh, yes. that uh, Consolidated the uh, salary structured workers were getting 25 to 35 percent uh, pay rise. Yeah. And uh, surprisingly, for some of us, the, the NSC president, Joe Ajero, said um, this was um, a, a mere joke. You know, he, 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 he trivialized that important announcement, which has to do with the welfare of workers. And uh, he was talking about the new minimum wage, which they have been clamoring for, of which we are all aware that the federal government has set up a committee involving mm -hmm. state government representatives, so, yes. organized labor, as well as the organized private sector. So, yes. uh, uh, so for me, I, I don't see why anybody would try to, you know, belittle that salary raise for consolidated structured workers by the government. And uh, what I also find uh, amusing is this so-called, you listen to a lot of the labor leaders, they are saying we are waiting for the federal government to announce <laughs> the new minimum wage. As if the announcement of a new minimum wage is the responsibility of only the federal government. Uh, meanwhile, you are aware that there is a committee charged with that responsibility. It has not concluded its assignment. It has not finished its assignment. So I, I'm like, is it that these labor leaders are not in sync or they are not educated or informed about what that committee to determine the new uh, minimum wage is doing? Maybe that is why you know they are speaking as if they are speaking uh, out of ignorance. Well, let me start by saying that oh, it's unfortunate that the, the type of labor leaders that we have presently. You will recall prior to the 2023 general elections, yes. leadership of the uh, labor Congre Nigerian Labor Congress yeah. practically fused into the Labor Party. Yes. Unfortunately, there are two different entities. There is a Labor Congress for the labor, for issues, for issues relating, relating to labor matters. Matter. Why the Labor Party? It's another arm of the team. It's a political, it's a political party. party entirely. You will see this president of the Labour Congress, Monty Rostrom, campaigning for the candidate of the party. He shows that he is also biased along the line. Because his candidate did not win. So he will do everything humanly possible to also deride and, if possible, bring down the present government. That's number one. Number two, we have people who are not even vast in what they are doing in labour matters. Because you will know that it is not for you to say it. Government will make an announcement. It's for you to go back, consult widely before you come out. Not just, you are not representing yourself or your family. You are representing the labor force in its entirety. So you should wait for, for, for a consultation with all organized labor so that we know what to tell the, the world, not just your own personal opinion at this point, at this point in time. So that's as I said, they don't even understand what they are saying. And thirdly, they are just playing politics. If a number of government had made so one announcement, it supposes that government had said, okay, we're going to do this. And Mr. President, via a press release yesterday, said, made mention of the fact that they are despised 
the ongoing negotiation. negotiation. Yes. That, but for now, let us continue with this one. Yes. So I what I expected from the Labour was to have waited for the conclusion of the committee's uh, assignment. Uh, assignment yes. Then we can now say, okay, let us meet our. You have you come out with their recommendations? Yes. You can now meet organized private sector or meet all affiliates of yours and other. Um, other sectors yeah. to say, okay, are we agreeing with this submission? Because uh, because we, 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 what you are proposing is unrealistic. No, no uh, tell uh, us uh, the truth, comrade. Uh, comrade Sholoki, you know, for me, it is the fact that labor has representatives in that committee that is reviewing the to arrive at the new minimum mm. wage, yeah. and in arriving at that, a lot of parameters will be, used. Will be taken into consideration. Will be used. So you expect uh, Mr. Joe Ajayero to, you know, to be circumspect, to be, you know, to be responsible, to be civil in his utterances. Over time, uh, the NSC president has made just recently you recognize he, he was involved in a dog fight with the with the, with the, party, with the Labour Party uh, leader, chairman, chairman of Labour, and that one said. You better resign your NLC office and, and come, come and take over. That, that you cannot be both at the same polit time. Politics has beclouded the sense of reasoning, and that's why they don't understand what they're doing. Because, like you have rightly pointed out, you have representatives in that committee. Yeah. You should have allowed the committee to come and brief you. To come and brief you, yes. Okay. You you can you, whatever you are proposing. Yeah. You have handed over to your representative. Yeah, representative. If you don't trust your representative, why did you? Why did you send them, send them there? there? So yes. so. It shows that they are just playing politics. And that's stupid politics to me. Because if we are, we are today, even as a, labor, as, a labor, as a labor union, you should be able to provide a solution to the problem besieging the country. The, the, this one is. It, it is part of the labor. It is part of, part of the responsibility of, of labor. labor. Yes. You should also provide a solution. Labor are nation builders. Yes. yes once, we are, once we are as as we are today, economically, labor should say, okay, Mr. President. This is our own way out of this quagmire. Yes. Let's see. Let's try these options. Uh, but now you are not talking about options. You are just saying that even if you are paying six hundred and something thousand naira, you are saying you are spending more wage. We are the ones to spend it. No, uh, are, you, are you not? Are you not inviting no, uh, hyperinflation? No, comrade Sholoki. Uh, I have no problem with the proposal. It's a mere proposal. It's yeah, a suggestion. Yes, I agree. Just yesterday, they made us aware that a state in uh, northern mm -hmm. Nigeria was paying 8,000 Naira minimum mm -hmm. wage for. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. under the Constitution of Nigeria, 30,000 Naira minimum wage. that had been agreed and signed by President Muhammad Dubari in 2019. This is 2024. Mm -hmm. We are still battling with states well, and other uh, stakeholders who are yet to comply. So I will expect that labor should be circumspect with their utterances. Because if the committee concludes its work, it is not the responsibility of the federal government. It is the committee that will pass on the recommendations to the, fed, to the, the, to the, the government. government. The government, through the agency in charge of uh, salaries, that's the Revenue uh, Wages and Fiscal Commission, uh, wages, commission wages and Salaries Commission, yeah. will come up and say, okay, this is what we the federal government is going to pay. This is the minimum. Mr. President will now announce the new minimum wage and sign it into law. Yeah. So for anybody to now be talking as if the determination of the minimum wage is that of a pronouncement from Mr. President, I think that person is misleading people. Oh, oh, for, really, you see, sometimes when, 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 when you look at governance in his, in, in his entirety, look at what happened in the do last week. Yes. Uh, this week. Mr. This governor, the outgoing governor, and now, I mean, without it was pure mischief. Mischief, you understand? So, so you, you will see people who are not just sincere, who are not patriotic, who are just out to just cause confusion. Yeah, yeah. Because how will you, at the twilight of, 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 of your of, exit of, from office, they are not talking about seventy thousand. When the federal government, who is supposed to also lead, had not make pronouncements. So all these guys, all these then we are talking about the private sector. sector. Yes, you, you understand? Because when we are talking no, about minimum wage, it means that's the minimum no, anybody must pay. pay. So I, I, I just hope Nigerians uh, are taking note. Uh, we must commend the government for the uh, salary raise for yeah. consolidated uh, yeah, it's, salary it's, structured workers yeah. because I'm sure they must have had an agreement and I think the government is kind of that agreement. This, uh, this uh, consolidated salary structure 
has nothing to do with the yes, minimum wage. wage at all. There are two different things entirely. That's not what I'm saying that. They don't even understand their job. So they don't understand they, what is called the, the consolidated salary. They don't yeah, understand, they it. don't understand. That it's quite different from the minimum, minimum wage. Minimum wage, yes. They, so you is. see that they, are, that they are bereft of ideas at this point in time. So that's, the, that's why you see an Ajero fighting an Abu, Ab, Abure, Abure trying to claim leadership of... Um, they are two different entities. Honestly, it's it's sad where it's, we are going with the yes. present uh, leadership of. And uh, just uh, uh, jokingly for me, I saw it in the news this morning that uh, they have given the government uh, till May ending. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, when you have a committee that is still sitting, <laughs> are you telling the government to wind down the committee before it completes its assignment or what? Ah. I sat I sat with some of them, so one or two labor leaders in, in my, one of them. He said. We are waiting for what to do we announce on Wibble. I said, there's a committee in place already. Ah, we are not concerned. No, they must tell us how much they are going to pay us. We are expecting. Is, is, is it possible? There, there, there are processes to all these things. It's not just yes. the, 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 the magic of the president. This At all. Because you take it to Mr. President is not going to pay the salary of yes. the, 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 the workers in our so, or, 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 or the, the private sector. Yeah, or the private sector. So, yes. so all, 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 all these factors must be put in place before you, you arrive at a conclusive uh, yes, uh, figure. Yes, figure. to to to, 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 to Yes. But and that figure must be uh, must be arrived by either consensus or what have yes. you. Everybody must yes, agree to it. Not just the one we did in 2019, we are still battling over it. Some so, 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 so cannot even pay it. They cannot pay it. Honestly, I, I, the, the way the labor unions are going about this issue of uh, a new minimum wage, I think Nigerians need to uh, get themselves well informed uh, in order not to be confused and incited because uh, you see what 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 I, what I will expect the government to do is to embark us uh, back on serious advocacy let's i mean uh, 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 i mean so ser serious enlightenment campaign because with what we, with what is in the public domain today the nlc is saying that as if that committee had concluded Yes. It's reports. Yes, but the, it so has not. The, 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 the government should go out and say, look, there's a committee that comprises of the labor, labor representatives. representatives. Yes. So we have not they have not concluded. Yes. Until they are conclude until they conclude the, the assignment, assignment, we cannot make any, any pronouncement. pronouncement. So I think the government should do should do that. Then two, there should also be con a concerted effort to also educate labor leaders. Okay. Because I know they need education at this point. Absolutely. Time. Seriously, no, they no, need, they need, they need. there's no level you are that you don't no, need. You must, you must want yes. to learn. I because think. if you cannot differentiate between the consolidated salary scale yes. and, and the, the minimum, minimum wage, wage, then you need then there's a problem with leadership. For, in any, mm -hmm. I think the Labour Institute under um, <laughs> Comrade um, <laughs> Isaremu, Isaremu, please, uh, Comrade Isaremu, we are calling on you to please uh, organize some courses on, uh, for our Labour leaders because they seem not to know their left from their right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we want to call it a wrap on the first stanza of the program, the conversation. We'll go on a short break. We'll be right back. Please continue to watch the conversation on TV360. Thank you. We'll be right back.